Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. We are going to be doing a peekaboo houndstooth tumbler today. And I'm going to show you how I did that along with what I messed up first and how I was able to fix it. So without further ado, let's get to it. are starting off with me removing the little film off the bottom of the cup. I am actually kind of struggling with this one because it doesn't want to come off. I managed to get a little bit of the edge up and so I'm taking it off. It actually is a little hard to remove. Um, I'm sure that's for a reason. And of course I have to remove that little bit with tweezers because it was kind of stuck under the edge. Um, I started to take this off and then I realized that they're, you're not actually supposed to do that. These are hog tumblers and they tell you not to remove them. Now I'm setting up my sanding jig. I don't necessarily recommend this, but this is how I do it. I insert a screwdriver inside of a foam piece for a turner. I stick that in my drill. Make sure everything is snug. You want snug. You don't want this stuff flopping around or you're going to get hurt. So do this at your own risk. Make sure it is tight in there. And then you put your cup on the uh, on the foam. You want I chose the big piece on purpose because you want a snug fit. Again, you don't want this wobbling around or you will get hurt. So choose you a piece of sandpaper of your choice. I chose, I think it was a three hundred grit or three I don't know it was just below the 400 and start sanding you don't need to do a whole lot you just need to knock that shine off there if you even want to prep your cup to begin with you don't have to not everybody does it's really just personal preference I like to do it a little bit I notice it does seem to help me so and make sure you get that bottom because you know stuff's going on there too as you can see, it actually does kind of jump around a little bit, and that's because it wasn't completely um, level. Once you got the shine knocked off, then you go wash it. Okay, now my whole idea is I'm having three glitter colors, and so I mixed up three paint. It's a little too cold outside to spray paint, so I am using some Crystallac uh, Basic White as a base, and then I'm going to be adding the uh, alcohol ink. To it. I'm also going to add a little Mod Podge in there so that way it, you know, it's like a colored glue. Um, you can actually buy this stuff pre mixed with it's put out, I think it's like a color pop or a pop, it's called Pop of Color. I don't have any of that, so I have to make my own. And yeah, Mod Podge is, Mod Podge is messy, so. Make sure you seal that up real quick or it'll dry out on you real quick. Shake up that alcohol ink and put it in there. It was a, I didn't put in a whole lot to start off with because I didn't know how pigmented it would come out or how, how dark it would be. I wanted it somewhat about the same color as the pink glitter. I'm mixing it up and then right about this point I'm realizing it's not very dark. It's literally a super light baby pink and not even baby pink it's not even that dark yeah I'm regretting my decision and really seriously consider just painting the whole damn thing white but I was like hey trust the process that's what they say okay I did add a little bit more pink to that one now it's next step is the blue I went to ham I went ham on that one because the pink one didn't come out that dark so I wanted the blue darker it did come out a little bit better so again, it's trust the process. That's what they keep telling you. Mix that up really good. And then of course the last one is white. Um, why I didn't just paint this whole thing white, I don't really know. As about here, I also realized that uh, I didn't mix up my Mod Podge into my white paint. So I have to do that real quick. You don't want to waste it. Let's just wipe it on there for no apparent reason. And go to town. Now I'm attempting, that you can't see on camera, because it's a bad camera angle, to do like 
stripes, like swirl stripes is what my plan was. You'll quickly see that it falls apart, but overall I think the concept was okay. And then you'll also see the fact that, well, I'm using the white paint, but I'm not actually going to use the white. I have no white glitter. I don't know why I, again, I don't know why I just didn't do white paint. The whole thing, instead of trying to do the colored underneath there. I'm trying to get a good layer because you want an even layer. I didn't. I was a little sloppy. I was trying to rush through this and it didn't come out the way I wanted it to. But again, we'll, you'll get to see how I fix that. So starting off with Flamingo Pink by Glitterly Obsessed Ultra Fine. The links will, to the glitter will be in the description along with a coupon for 15% off at Glitterly Obsessed, which is totally worth it. The coverage is pretty good, even though I, I do go over a second coat. I'm actually trying to um, fix that spot because it was the glitter or the glue was very cl uh, clumped up right there because I was in a, I was too much of a hurry. I wasn't taking my time like I should have. When these when you're doing these it's best to take your time. Yes, you want to get them done as fast as possible, but so it, taking your time is always better. And these stands are freaking awesome. Um, I pref I want to get a better one, but they'll work. They they work in a pinch. Make sure you save your glitter because wasting glitter is the eleventh commandment: Thou shalt not waste glitter. The next one we are doing is the blue. I'm not even worried about. Oh, no, we're doing pink. I'm not even worried about rinsing my brush off because white into the pink, it's really not going to make a big difference at this time. Again, pink. Well, I mean, I was the pink was supposed to be for the pink glitter, but I, I don't know what I was thinking. So we're, I'm going to follow the next stripe. And try to make it even, which it isn't. You can't even see the cup. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at this. And we're going in with the Mystery Mix Aphrodite from Glitterly Obsessed. It is a limited edition, so I'm going to be really sad if I can't ever get any more because this stuff is just beautiful. It covers really well considering the lay down of that paint and glitter was apparently put on with my feet. Because that is terrible. That line is atrocious. I don't know what I was thinking. But again, trust the process. And a lot of times the trust the process actually does work out pretty good. And you really do like it. But it, it can also be a, a hot mess. Next is the blue paint. That I mixed up again I didn't even bother rinsing my brush I just went in with it at this point what damage could it possibly do and I've painted in the rest of the area that is not glittered again not bothering to really follow the line at this point I think this is about the point where I realized I messed up and I'm just gonna continue with I'm just doubling down at this point Again, I'm not even really showing you. Oh, there we go. I fixed it. This looks more blue on here, and when in reality it was more of a teal color. So, I mean, I mean, it's the the colors are still nice. And then we are going in with Sea Mist, also by Glitterly Obsessed, an ultra fine. And we're gonna lay that down. I tried shaking it out first and then I realized I hate that. So once you have mastered the one hand cap removal of a glitter uh, shaker, it's so much better.
mess up. Uh, yeah, it, it, it turned out to a hot mess. It's one of those trust the process that I totally screwed up. So we're going to fix it. Okay, what I did here is I basically just took that chunky glitter, the Aphrodite, and I covered the whole cup in it. And then, of course, I put a layer of a Speedy PD epoxy on there. Okay, so I have a pre-cut template here of uh, a hound's tooth design, and I'm going to just kind of do a full wrap on this. So I've already pre-sanded and uh, cleaned it off really, really good. I tried to make it as smooth as possible so this lays down. So let's get to it. Ladies and gents, she is done. Look at this. Isn't that cool? I'm so glad I was able to save it. The glitter is absolutely beautiful. Um, I will put a link in the description to everything that I use along with a code for 15% off from Glitterly Obsessed, which is the glitter I used. And I will see y'all next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm out. <laughs>